Devastating day for the stock market with the worst drop since 2011. Is the coronavirus and a large dispute between oil producing nations actually putting your investments in danger? 13 News reporter Hannah Getz joins us live in the studio with what this means for the tri-state. Hannah. Well, Jennifer, today I sat down with a local financial advisor from South Charleston who had just two words for anyone with money in the stock market. Don't panic. The sell-off began at the opening bell Monday morning. The Dow Jones Industrial Average plummeted more than 1,800 points within the first minute. And the S&P dropped more than 7%, triggering a trading halt for 15 minutes. We have precautions and measures put in place to slow the market down when it's moving very quickly in either direction, either up or down, so that investors have an opportunity to take a step back, understand what's going on, and react. A trade war sparked by a failed deal between oil-producing nations flooded the market with cheap crude and sent the oil market crashing. I'm going to call it sort of a trade war between Russia and Saudi Arabia. The two largest powers in oil fighting is not good. Although there are no confirmed cases of coronavirus in West Virginia, the worldwide epidemic is already impacting the money of Mountain State residents. Brett Harper, a financial advisor with Edward Jones in South Charleston, says that shouldn't spark panic. Uh, today my phone's been, been pretty quiet. Again, uh, my clients that I sit down and prepare with, we've planned for this. We haven't had a bear market or a 20% correction in the market in almost 11 years. Uh, volatility is normal. It's needed. It's necessary. Harper says this is also a time of great opportunity. So, you know, if you have some extra cash laying around or your portfolio is diversified in such a way, you know, today when things are down, you might want to call your financial advisor and have those rebalanced um, to take opportunity of a down market. So, for example, Amazon, which had a 52-week high of nearly $2,200 a share, closed today at $1,800, a $400 drop in the price per share. And while the coronavirus is causing crash for some stocks, it's actually boosting others like Clorox and Netflix. Jennifer?